All right. Well, Chris was in with uh, his new project, this O'Shea and Scarlsboro label, label, and there's just something about you know all these wines. It that was a little off-putting to me. They're kind of floral, somewhat unique flavor profile. I can't put my finger on it exactly, but they all had it in common. It was really, really odd. And, uh, you know, the Desolation Chardonnay, well, they all had pretty labels on them. I have to say the packaging here, very good. But, uh, you know, a lot of times with that catchy packaging, you know, the wine's maybe not so good. And, uh, you know, this wine had a, uh, you know, some juicy fruit on the nose, a touch of spice, a good amount of mineral component here. Uh, nice pear and apple fruit on the tongue. So a little bit of oak spice, a lighter style Chardonnay. I wouldn't call it Burgundian, but uh, maybe distinct to Washington State. Uh, not blown away by that wine. The Immortal Syrah was next. And uh, this wine had this pretty floral quality to the black plum and dark cherry fruit and a nice savory style of Syrah with a floral perfume nuance lasting through the finish. Very different, but, uh, you know, just didn't really hit it for me. Uh, it was good, but for $34, we're expecting a little bit more. The main event up next, Cabernet Sauvignon. And this wine had a really herbal and floral quality to the nose as well. Cassis and blackcurrant fruits, uh, black raspberry as well. A very intense floral quality shown through on the finish that kind of was a little off-putting to me. You know, this was my least favorite wine of the group. And at $37.50, we definitely expect more. The O'Shea Scarlsboro Royale is a blend of Cabernet Sauvignon Merlot, Cabernet Franc, and Petit Verdot. And again, a really unique floral bouquet here. Some tea and tobacco notes to the black cherry, black raspberry-like fruits. And a light and savory wine on the finish, uh, kind of expecting a little bit more there. That floral component kind of dominating and maybe a little off-putting there as well. Really weird stuff from Chris. I don't know, Chris, did you taste these wines before you bought them? All right, well, up next, we've got Craig from Augustine with kind of a mixed bag of things from Burgundy and California.